Hey guys, so recently you saw that I unboxed the GTEC A30, and so now it's time to make a profile in Cura. As you can see here, I've got the TiVo Tarantula set up here, but we want to go ahead and set up a new profile for this printer. So I'm going to go over here to Settings. I am going to go to Printer, Add Printer. Now, of course, it's not going to be an Ultimaker. This is Cura, so it's dedicated mainly for Ultimaker, but the nice thing is you can use it for other printers as well. But as we go down through here, we're going to notice there is nothing for GTEC. For some reason, GTEC is kind of left out of the mix when it comes to, to Cura. So we're going to go to Custom. We're going to create a custom FDM printer. We're going to change the name of it to GTEC A30. Add Printer. So now what it's going to do is it's going to come up with settings right here. So X is going to be 320, Y is going to be 320, and Z is set for 420. It's going to be a rectangular build plate, heated bed. We're going to go ahead and leave it for Marlin. I believe that's going to work with it, but we'll find out. This over here, I could play with it, but I'm not going to because I honestly don't know what that's going to do for centering on the bed. If it's off-centered, I can go ahead and do something with it. Extruder, it's going to be a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and it's going to be 1.75 millimeter for the filament. I'm not going to play with any offsets right now because once again I want to see where it prints right out of the box. So we're going to finish that. Okay, so as you can see it says it GTEC A30 up here in the top. We're going to switch this over to PLA because we're going to create a new profile. Zoom out here a little bit. <laughs> That's a different looking build, build platform from what I'm used to. Okay, so layer height, I'm going to go ahead and go with a 0.2 layer height. Initial layer height I always have set is at 0.3. That way it gives it a little bit more uh, room on the first layer. Uh, that sort of thing, kind of, if there's any differences in the build plate, it makes up for it. Line width, 0.4. Yeah, that's going to be fine because it's going to be with a 0.4 nozzle. The initial layer line, I always do that at about 110. Give a nice, nice thick first layer. Uh, that also will make up for any differences in the build plate if it's a little bit uneven or something. Wall thickness, for now I'm going to go ahead and go with the 0.8. And infill density, uh, what I'm planning, I'm just going to go with a 5. And you know what, I'll go with 10. And then grid pattern, uh, actually I like to use zigzag. It saves on infill and uh, it does a good enough job. Default temperature, we're going to go ahead and go with 210 because I'm going to use AMZ 3D filament. And 210 seems to be the, the magic number. Build plate it has it set at 60. i probably go ahead and stick with 60. Although with this size build plate and on the the test print, it will work perfectly fine at 50, but I'll go ahead and stick with 60 just to make sure. Uh, 1.75 millimeter filament, 100% flow for the normal portion of the print, that should work. I want to enable retraction. This is kind of left over from TiVo. Uh, retraction distance of 6.5 millimeter, retraction speed of 25. I want to increase that to about 30. I know this uh, this extruder setup on this can handle that, no problem. Retraction minimal travel is 0.8 millimeter. I want to change that to 3 millimeter. I don't want to do a whole lot of retraction. Print speed, 60 millimeters per second. Depending on what you're wanting to print, if you're wanting finer quality, you want to slow that down. 60 millimeter I, uh, per second, I think is going to be just fine. Outer wall speed of 30. Uh, let's go ahead and make that 35. That'll speed the print up a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly half, but that's pretty much a rule of thumb. Travel speed, I don't want to go 120. I want to go more like about 80. And then initial layer speed, 30. I normally go 20, but let's go ahead and keep it at 30. I think it'll be fine. Combing mode, all. That's to avoid parts pretty much when it's traveling. 
uh, Z Hopwin retracted. I like that. And with the experience I've had with the D200 and the E180, it doesn't like anything over a uh, 0.5 millimeter. So I'm going to go 0.5 millimeter. That's going to be plenty of, of Z Hop. Anything more than that, it, it starts messing up in the, the software. Uh, enable print cooling, yes, 100% fan speed, and I want to do that at 0.5 millimeter. That'll be, do it on the second layer. Minimum layer time, 5 seconds, so we'll increase that to 10 seconds. It's not really going to affect us on the print that I'm planning at the moment. I don't need any supports for this. I'm not going to use a brim, I'm going to use a skirt. And I want it to go around three times, three millimeters away from the print. And all at once for that. Uh, fuzzy skin, I'm not going to worry about that on this particular one. That's pretty much going to be my profile for this very first print. So what am I going to do? You know what? I've been thinking about what I was going to do for my very first print on this. And I decided to go ahead and go with the car tire candy dish. It's the same one I did... Um, on the TiVo Tarantula, except I did it at, what was it, uh, 150 millimeter. I want to do this one, well, let me get it back to zero. Actually, I'm just, the re reload, there it goes. I want to scale it. Let's see how big I can do it on this build plate. I want to give it a little bit of room. Mm -hmm. See, I could go 300. Let's just go 300 and see what it does. And that's supposed to give us three, you know, plenty of room around it. That'll also give us a good chance by looking at the skirt if uh, if it's going to be centered on the print on the bill plate. And it's touching the bed. I think that's going to look pretty good like that just debating whether I want to go ahead and change the Z height and make it taller. You know what? Go big or go home, right? We're going to undo uniform scaling and we're going to increase the height. Make a nice wide tire. So that's going to be 125 millimeters. Let's just make it even 125 in the Z. That looks pretty sweet right there. It's nice and centered on the build plate in Cura. So now the question is, is it going to be centered on the build plate in real life? So let's go ahead and there's no, oh, it says it's going to take two days to print. E. You know what? Let's just go ahead and try it. So we're going to save that to the removable disk or removable drive, which is going to be the little a micro SD card. Now, one thing I don't like doing is I don't like playing around with how I'm uh, saving things uh, to an SD card. Unfortunately, I have to use an adapter on this one because it is a micro SD. Um, but for the sake of the of the review, I'm going to go ahead and just continue using the micro SD for now. Eventually, when this is all said and done, I am going to add a uh, adapter on there so I can use a full size SD card. Anyway, let me go ahead and put this on the printer, and let's go take a look at one more thing on there before we continue. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my TeePublic store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.